RTX 4070, 17-inch display, 12th Gen i7, and 64GB of RAM. This bad boy can fit all that. The MSI Katana 17 has a great hardware selection that will appeal to budget consumers. Going to the 12th gen Intel processors is a smart play, as it lowers the price while still getting the latest graphics. The chassis might be made out of plastic, but the sheer heft of it keeps it durable. You can also thank the metal bracing on the inside for that. The lid has some lines running along the vertical axis and the MSI logo, so the design is still gamery, but it's a tasteful execution. For portability, you've got a weight of 2.6 kilograms and a profile of 25.2 millimeters, which is fine for a 17-inch machine. Most of the base is used to house the 4-zone RGB backlit keyboard with transparent WASD keys, tons of key travel and clicky feedback. The touchpad looks a bit small however, the laptop is pretty big too. More importantly, it's smooth and very responsive, so zipping around the 144Hz display feels good. As far as IO is concerned, the left side houses a power plug, one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and a USB 2.0 port. On the right, there's a LAN port, an HDMI 2.1 FRL port for up to 8K 60Hz or 4K 120Hz signal output, one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 1 port with display port capabilities, one more USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and an audio jack. The 17.3-inch display is surrounded by thin bezels except the top one, which houses the HD webcam. The display is good for gaming, with a 144Hz refresh rate and an IPS panel. Contrast and brightness are okay, but nothing to gloat about. It also only covers half of the sRGB color gamut, so if you're thinking about serious design work, look elsewhere, or get an external monitor. Still, programmers will rejoice at all the power this baby brings, and so while you're looking at all that code all day, why don't you get our office work profile? It's specially tailored to make text more legible. We'll leave a link to it down below. The sound setup is on the bottom, despite there being a small grill above the keyboard. The audio that it produces is good, however, there are deviations in the lows and highs, while the mids are clear. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Now for the combination of Alder Lake and Ada, we've got the Core i7-12 650H, a 10-core 16-thread CPU as well as the RTX 4060 with a TDP of 105 watts. However, you can upgrade to the RTX 4070 with the same TGP. The processor does well, scoring higher than the Ryzen 760 800H and the same Core i7 inside the IdeaPad Gaming 3i from last year. As for the RTX 4060, it dominates 1080p games with ease, so even 1440p gaming on an external monitor is possible and a real option. Here you can check out gameplay at 1080p. Starting off with Metro Exodus, a game that's known to make GPUs bend the knee, the 4060 is able to run it at 83fps on the high preset and 40fps on the extreme preset. Yeah, then we move to one of the better open world FPS games that are out, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. The Katana 17 is able to 73 FPS on the Ultra preset, however you can lower the settings if you want to experience the 144 Hz refresh rate properly.
Lastly, Shadow the Tomb Raider allows you to basically play as Indiana Jones, albeit without the whip and the cowboy hat. You get a bow and arrow though, which is a plus. The game runs great, with 93 FPS on the highest preset. Excuse me. Contact with the High Council commands to Yes, sir. Even after the fiasco in Brazil. No one questions your leadership of the organization. We've come too far to stop now. Yes, sir. They're ready for anything. Jonah, Dominguez is not just the leader. As for how MSI is cooling the CPU and GPU, we've got a 6 heat pipe setup with 3 heat sinks and 2 fans. It's a robust setup that helps the CPU boost to 112 watts, even if it is for a couple of seconds. In prolonged loads, you can expect 85 watts and speeds of up to 3.44 GHz. The graphics card doesn't reach its full 105 watt limit, however, it still maintains speeds of 2200 MHz during prolonged gaming sessions while keeping temperatures low at only 73 degrees Celsius. Comfort wise, the laptop isn't as loud as we thought it'd be, while the outside remains cool with a hot spot of only 40.7 degrees Celsius. We would have wanted to see a bigger battery pack since the 53.5 watt hour unit here only lasts for 6 hours and 26 minutes of web browsing or 5 hours of video playback. This is fine for a gaming machine, however, the battery will drain quicker with more intensive workloads. Going on the inside, the Katana 17 has good upgradability with two sodium slots for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory as well as two M2 slots for PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. For a more detailed teardown, check out the video that we've got linked in the upper right corner. The MSI Katana 17 is able to deliver that next-gen RTX 40 series gaming performance for a lower price, thanks to the Alder Lake processors, which deliver a great platform that won't bottleneck any modern GPU. It's also well upgradable, while the I.O. is plenty, so we would recommend the laptop if you're in the market for a big boy gaming machine. If you'd like to find out more about this model, check out our detailed review on laptopmedia.com.